The years 1940 to 1949 were ones of continuous horror for the Greek people. When the Second World War ended in 1945, and the rest of Europe was beginning to rebuild itself, Greece entered into a second war, more vicious than that fought against the Axis powers. If 8% of the population of 7 million had died or been killed during World War II, the Greek Civil War brought that figure up to 10%. After the First World War, Greece did not enjoy political stability, enduring repeated coup d'etat and dozens of governments. Although Greek communists had been a serious threat to all of Greece's frequently changing governments, the struggle between monarchists and republicans was also bitter. At the outset of World War II, the Greek government remained neutral despite pro-German sympathies. When the country was invaded by Italy, Greece became an allied nation in 1940. Although the Italian invasion was repulsed, by May 1941, when German troops swept through the Balkans, Greece was also occupied and partitioned among Italian, German, and Bulgarian forces. The occupation was brutal. The people were crushed, and the land and whatever grew or was built on it decimated. The period of Greek civil strife is commonly divided into three rounds. The first one began in 1943, long before World War II was over. At that point, the communists supported Greek resistance movement that fought the occupation, the National Liberation Front, or EAM, and its guerrilla units, the National People's Liberation Army, or ELAS, found themselves fighting at times against their rival in the resistance, the National Republican Greek League. In May of 1944, the communists appeared to be gaining the upper hand in most of the country. In areas under their control, they launched a terror campaign against their opponents. When liberation came in October of 1944, Greece was in a state of crisis, which soon led to the outbreak of another round of violence. By early December of that year, round two, known as the December events, erupted. The regular Greek National Army, or GNA, assisted by British units, crushed the ELAS forces. The conflict appeared to have been settled by the Varkiza Agreement of February 1945. The communists accepted defeat and agreed to disband, and the government consented to general amnesty of all EAM and ELAS members. Neither side fully abided by the agreement. A government-backed terror campaign was launched against members and supporters of the National Liberation Front and the National People's Liberation Army. And the left did not fully comply with its obligation to surrender all weapons. The remnants of EAM went underground, and the ELAS fighters retreated to the mountains to conduct guerrilla warfare. In December 1946, they renamed themselves the Greek Democratic Army, or DSE, and were completely controlled by the Greek Communist Party, or KKE. The DSE was assisted by the new communist regimes of Albania, Bulgaria, and Yugoslavia. The third round, the Civil War proper, was only a matter of time. This change in tactics proved a fatal mistake for the DSE. Manpower shortage prevented it from conducting successful conventional warfare. Its guerrilla style of hit-and-run attacks had been much more effective. The GNA, heavily supplied by American instructors, weapons, and materiel from the Truman administration, now proved its superiority in manpower, weapons, and particularly Air Force. Indeed, in March 1946, ELAS guerrillas attacked a police station in the village of Latochero, killing its occupants. This event signaled the beginning of the third round. A series of successful attacks and wide grassroots support encouraged the KKE's leadership to change its strategy from that of guerrilla to full-scale conventional military warfare. Several other mistakes also proved critically detrimental to the communist efforts and eventually doomed them to failure. Greek public opinion tilted against the communists because of the evacuation or abduction of close to 28,000 Greek children 
to safe havens in the Balkan countries, or according to government sources, to training centers that were meant to turn the children into a communist avant-garde military force to enforce communism around the globe. In addition, the growing share of Slavic Macedonians within the DSE caused many Greek citizens to fear that they harbored separatist interests that would lead to the disintegration of Greece. The Greek Civil War was not only a bitter internal struggle between two ideologically irreconcilable Greek camps, derogatively labeled monarcho-fascists and bandits, each envisioning and proposing diametrically opposed programs for the rehabilitation and future of their war-devastated country. The Greek Civil War was also an endgame among the Allies to tie up the loose ends of their spoils of war agreements. The gravest Communist Party mistake was the support that its leadership gave in late 1948 to Stalin, in the latter's row with the renegade Yugoslav leader, Tito. Yugoslavia had been the main training and supply center of the DSE, but the moment the KKE supported Stalin and condemned Tito, the latter severed his military and logistics ties with the DSE, beginning in July of 1949. Without Tito's support, the communist forces suffered a defeat three months later in the last battles of the DSE on Greek soil, in the mountains of Gramos and Vitsi. It was one of the first conflicts of the Cold War. Greece was the only place in Central, Balkan, and Eastern Europe where communism attempted but failed to take power. The Civil War was further complicated by the fact that while the communists may have enjoyed considerable grassroots support in Greece itself, their putative ally, the Soviet Union, had other fish to fry. In an agreement unknown to the Greek left, Moscow had agreed with Great Britain not to support communism in Greece, apparently in exchange for the Soviets having the upper hand in the rest of Eastern Europe. Deprived of their own great power backing, Greek communists were hardly a match for their British and American-backed opponents. The Civil War left Greece in a greater economic crisis than the country suffered as a result of the German occupation. Of a population not much greater than 7 million, well over 100,000, possibly close to 150,000, perished in the Civil War. One million became homeless, and 28,000 children disappeared to become ardent communist fighters or taken abroad for their own safety. A deep political polarization prevailed in Greece, resulting in the imprisonment and execution of tens of thousands. A vehemently right-wing, anti-communist military establishment led the country, culminating in the rise of the military junta of 1967 to 1974. The abolition of the colonel's regime in 1974 and Greece's European Union membership in 1981 buttressed Greek democracy and isolated its anti-democratic forces. In the early 1980s, the center-left government allowed the return to Greece of veterans of the DSE, who 30 years earlier took refuge in communist countries. Their return brought at least a certain measure of closure to the years of violence and destruction that accompanied the Greek Civil War.